his one game was against uh, one of the best players we've ever had in our stream, Semikiss, who had up until then been dominating the entire competition, but Sharp was actually able to beat him. Quite an impressive game. To be honest, Semikiss was no chump. And of course, uh, as we all know, Sharp apparently sent Semikiss to the Shadow Realm because we have yet to see Semikiss since then. Sharp wins his first kickoff, though. One to zero. Admittedly, other than the first matchup where we saw French versus uh, Yotam, this is our next biggest MMR difference. The previous three guys that were extremely close. Uh, of course, French and Yotam was the biggest possible MMR difference we could have had. And we saw that one go in Yotam's favor, so it's certainly not impossible for Gino to pull out this win. Bounders badge, baby. What's up, Limper? That being said, Sharp is making a statement up 2-0 within 14 seconds of this game starting. Sharp set up a flip reset. Oh my goodness. The absolute filth. Sharp instantly showing just yet another speed in these games that we just haven't seen yet. I mean, right away, we're seeing another level from Sharp playing with a confidence and, and just, I mean, this car just seems like it's driving faster than the previous people who have been playing here. Gino needs to find something, get something working for him before it becomes too late. We've seen the ability of these people in these matches to just drown out a player who can't get anything going at the beginning of a game. And that'll happen to you regardless of rank. But Sharp coming in flaming hot so far. Gino's able to slow him down here, and that's important. That's the first thing to do is, uh, you know, just stop the bleeding. Stop those goals from coming in. Last minute and a half or so, it's actually been nice and tied. Nice play from Gino here is going to get him his first goal as he catches Sharp in a shadow. Nice left, right, left, right move. Ends up in a pop right into the net. Sharp just waiting a little bit too long. Good play from Gino here. Let's go Sharp, says Kinsei. Kinsei waiting in the finals. Wants another match against Sharp. But I don't know. I'll maybe cheer for our underdog Gino, who's put on two wins in a row here. And definitely impressive. Sharp looking to maintain possession. Gino. Not afraid to keep those challenges on, but this shot will be weak. And Sharp will be able to save it. Aerial though. Ends up getting out of Sharp's hands. A nice demo could easily result in a second goal here. Depending on what kind of spawn Sharp gets. And Sharp couldn't have gotten a better spawn. As he literally spawns in between Gino and the ball. What an absolute genius play. 200 IQ by Sharp. As he's able to stop out that goal. But his aerial shot is way too far off the mark to prevent Gino from getting a counterattack here. Gino, good tap. Good quick play. To get up on the wall and slam it into the net. 2 2. Huge kickoff win for Sharp. Nice low 50 50 for Sharp is going to result in a goal. I'm not sure how he did this one. Just a little bit more patience than Gino as he stays kind of glued under the ball. Just a really good 50 50 out of him. Gets his wheels back on the ground first as Gino goes flying by. Able to get up 3-2. A nice power shot here. Could potentially score, but a good recovery from Gino. But the boost starvation starts. Sharp is able to steal away. 100 boost for him. None for Gino. And the pops will work. Gino trying his best to do what he can with what his mama gave him, which is absolutely no boost. But Sharp makes him pay. He gets a fourth goal here. 4-2. Regaining the max lead we've seen in this game so far. Gino electing to head back. Right to net. Ooh, nice shot from Sharp. As Gino puts on just a little bit of pressure. Maybe expecting Sharp to uh, set up a dribble or start something slow. But Sharp ends up catching it right out of the air. As he notices Gino's been turning around. Out of position. Very powerful shot on net. Makes it 5-2 for Sharp. 
Gino's even willing to uh, concede that it was a nice shot. Quick challenge on the Gino's dribble from uh, Sharp here as Gino has finally seemed to met his match and his flicks. And aerial challenge, huge recovery by Sharp after a pretty poor challenge. He's able to stop well. What was a pretty good shot. Nice placement here from Sharp as he's starting to get warmed up. Able to get a nice flick to the other post. Gino, with, even with the pre-jump, unable to get there. Nice bounce off the post. Perfect placement. Can't expect any better from our boy Sharp. Gino trying to keep a nice dribble off kickoff. Not going for boost like he's used to, but lets the ball roll right over him. Sharp setting up an aerial challenge. This one would be easy to save, but the boost starvation game starts, but Gino's able to hold on to 50, and he's able to push it out. Resetting the ball here. Sharp getting a little lazy in front of the net. Ends up popping it out pretty easy for Gino, but Gino hands it back to him with a pop of his own. Gino setting up a shadow. Sharp trying to get fancy and get a little musty flick on us. Doesn't work as a 90 degree flick will punish him. Gino is hitting that 100% of the time if you give him the time. As he's proven multiple times tonight. As we'll go up 6-3, punish Sharp a little bit for maybe going a little bit fancy. Oh my goodness, the second time we've seen this today. Just so anybody who just tunes in knows, because I know someone asked before, yes, these guys are GC. Yes, Sharp is top 50. Um, his finger just slipped, okay? You have to trust me. Sharp with possession here off this kickoff. This flick is weak, but forces a save out of Geno. Keeps the pressure on. Nice 50 from Sharp. A really good recovery off that play from Gino when Sharp had a fairly open net. Just needed to put a little bump and touch on the ball in order to stop him here. Low boost for Gino as he's waiting for that boost to spawn under him. He did get it. Sharp's flip reset off the back wall. Gino, easy counter. That'll happen. These are the dangers you take, and this is why we seem to see these shots a lot less. Uh, these guys. I haven't really had it work for him to start this game. Just to start this series. This game, of course, close to being over. This kickoff goal saved away. Low boost now for Sharp. Gino can get a good challenge here. Might be able to put something dangerous on. Sharp gets mid boost. As these two flounder at midfield. Trying to get the ball over one another. Gino potentially looking for a demo. It doesn't work out for him. And Sharp has all the time in the world. Can just wait. And unfortunately, Gino has to try and put some kind of challenge on. He is not in a position to let that ball roll, but a good, good first showing for Gino against Sharp. A 6-5 game is a very good uh, showing against Sharp, who's very, very, very talented and uh, is certainly much higher rated MMR-wise. Sharp does win, though, as we move on to game two. <laughs> Teze, how can you do that to me? That also alt tabs me for some reason. I'm going to have to go figure out a way to make sure that the Steam chats stop alt tabbing me. They never used to alt tab me. Something something Steam did recently has changed that. Where if somebody new chats me, then I get uh, tabbed out. Game number two. Let's see if Sharp starts as fiery hot as he was before, and he does with the Doomsday Dish here. Off the first kickoff, takes him six seconds to regain the lead. Never trailing in the previous game. Gets his lead right back, only takes him six seconds. Sharp is just playing at another speed that we have yet to see in these games. What's that founder badge? The founder badge is for people who are the first 10 subs on the channel for affiliates and the first 25 for partners. So the first 10 subs ever on my channel, aka all my IRL friends most likely. Uh, get get a Founders Badge. It's only Twitch like I think just a minute today. Gino's able to save this shot away.
but it's continuing to hide in the net as Sharp just waits at midfield for boost, you know, unable to actually gain the ground back in time to do anything about it. Afraid of the demo. So jumping and popping for no reason. Sharp. This drives to midfield and sets up the shadow. So I'm ready to shadow defend. I'm gonna be able to stop whatever you put on. Proves to be true to his body language word. He's able to save the 90 degree flick on, but Gino keeps the pressure up. Put on some really good hits here. That 50 ends up going Gino's way. Sharp getting a little bit too casual with allowing himself to play defense. Continuing to stay in that shadow. Doesn't work out for him. Trying to show off that he can play some defense and maybe he should just turn around and keep the pressure on like what has been working for him earlier in the game. Gino unable to get that kickoff goal. Might end up in a goal on him as it's hard to get back after using all that boost. Trying to score a goal, went all in. Missed by a ball length and he'll get punished for it. Not something I can blame Gino for as I do think he needs to take every kickoff attempt he can take against the uh, opponent that he is slightly outmatched by. He misses this and kickoff attempt and still is pressuring off of it though another 90 degree roll and flick from Gino as he's known for sharp ready for it this time though pushes it away high puts a flick on his own on net easy to say but puts Gino in a bad spot low 50 from sharp as we saw before Gino of course afraid of some kind of flick or high shot ends up jumping for the challenge sharp just drive away stay low Able to keep that ball right in front of the net. To go up 3-1. Another kickoff win by Gino. Definitely something to uh, keep watch of. That'll be his, one of his uh, huge factors. Huge factors if he were to come back and uh, win this series. So he does seem to be winning those mostly. Of course, got unlucky this time. Smashing Sharp right into the ball to clear it away. Sharp unable to get the double tap here. Gives possession away to Gino. He can set up a dribble if he wants. Reads Sharp's bluff on his challenge, but ends up chipping it right to him. Sharp, very willing to fall back into a shadow position here. I don't know if he's trying to work on shadowing or just seems to think he can stop whatever Gino wants to do, but Gino proves him wrong, which he's done multiple times this series. Putting in a nice power shot. Both goals for Gino coming off of maybe a little bit of excessive shadowing from Sharp. Nice recovery off what could have been a dangerous situation for Gino. After losing a 50 deep in Sharp's half. Boost Starvation game is on as Gino tries to keep Sharp. Low boost and constantly recovering. Sharp's still sitting at zero. Hasn't been able to pick up any pads. He's able to get a nice zero boost flick. Only sitting at 20 or so boost, but just enough to get the clear. Still hasn't been able to find anything, but gets the counterattack shot. Gino getting a little bit too confident with the fact that he had been controlling the pace there with all the boost, but Gino gets a good clear off to the side. Able to get a continued shot on net. 4-2. Did a really good job of handling the pressure in those moments. It is not easy to continually fend off multiple attacks with zero boost from Sharp. Never seemed worried for a second. Doesn't even seem worried when he's getting that ball shot into his net. Oh my goodness, what a filthy. This is a 180 pretty much to reflect. Getting 112 kilometers per hour. Just catching Gino off guard. My goodness, that's a heater. The top left corner. All credit to Sharp on that, Gino. Finally positioned, but it's not going to be able to stop. A shot as good as that. <sighs> Dangerous play from Gino here. Almost works out. Definitely something he needs to continue to do as he tries to come back in this game, and it works out for him as he gets a goal here. After 50-50, six shot, yeah, absolutely shot. 
Nice 50 from Gino after keeping the pressure on. With a minute left to go, certainly the right call. I'd have to agree with Gino's attempt to uh, just stick with it. Re this is just humongous. Huge read on the fake kickoff. Sharp knowing he doesn't need kickoff goals to be happening. He just wants to wait and end the game. And Gino reads that perfectly and puts a shot on net to make it 5-4. Great play by Gino. Really good read to notice what Sharp was going for there and to punish him for it. Five four. This kickoff is missed by Sharp. Gino will set up an opportunity for whatever he wants. Is able to catch Sharp off guard. Sharp trying to close the distance. Maybe thinking Gino was going to play it a little bit slower, but no. Gino popping it up to himself. Run of the mill flick at the ball afterwards. But all that matters is the timing, and Sharp was diving in order to challenge. Gets caught off guard, 5-5. Five, five. Great play from Gino here. Is unable to stop this kickoff goal, though. Got to feel terrible after doing all the work to get two back. Nice kickoff goal for Sharp. Got to give him credit. Gino yet to lead in the series. Has been able to tie it up. In both these games on multiple occasions, as he will right now. But has spent the entirety of each match from behind as uh, Sharp scoring goals instantly in both games. That's the kickoff goal for him. Is going to counter Sharp's kickoff goals. They're tied 6 6. Gino keeping the pressure on as he goes up 7 6 here. Doing exactly what I said he would need to if he wanted to win this game keeping up that intense pressure and keeping those kickoff goals coming. Gino unwavered. Keeping the pressure on, putting Sharp on his back foot here. 7-6 as he gets his first lead of the series. Sharp trying to bump Gino, trying to get him playing scared or something. Throw him off his groove. Gino's shot attempt is saved away, but Gino with all the boost control. Sharp sits high on his wall. Gino floundering a little bit. Might end up resulting in Sharp being able to get his 100. Oh my goodness, Sharp just hands it away. 8-6. Sharp. Getting a little uh, antsy trying to get that last goal. Maybe trying to go for a pinch on the ground. Ends up rolling it real soft right into that ultra tall uh, Merc. As Gino makes it 8-6. And what is a really good play from our boy Gino in his humongous Merc. Certainly not necessarily over, but as Sharp takes a nice slow aerial shot attempt, it will be over. 8-6 or 9-6 or 8-7. GG's from both these guys. Great plan from Gino, who never counted himself out. Very good comeback. Relying on kickoff goals and just constant pressure. Able to catch Sharp or sorry, Sharp off guard. Game number three is these guys are playing to play in the grand finals of this. Uh, how do you say? How you say? Oh my goodness, I can't even think of it. Gauntlet here. This gauntlet bracket with Kinsey waiting at the top. Of course, Sharp having never lost a series on the stream. In fact, I don't even know if he's ever lost a game on the stream until just then. But Kinsei can tout the same thing. Kinsei has dropped games, but never a series. And many a good players he's beaten. But Gino, coming off strong in the beginning of this game, has maybe taken the momentum back. As Sharp came out early in both the games before. Games 1 and 2, Sharp coming off hot. Gino has recommanded the uh, momentum here as he goes up 1-0 off kickoff goal. Another attempt here catches Sharp, flipping off the side wall. That's going to be 2-0 for Gino. He's going to continue to keep the uh, the chokehold down on Sharp. Not allow any breathing room. As Sharp, when he's in the zone, when he gets his groove like Gino's actually letting him have right now, he's going to be very dangerous as this dribble, air dribble goal goes in. I think Gino, what's been working for him is keeping that constant pressure. I know he's got low boost. And he knows he doesn't feel like he's in a good spot, but it almost feels like it's more important for Sharp to feel like he can't breathe, you know? Uh, 
even if he does end up scoring, but because he scores because you're, you know, all over his ass, it seems like maybe, oh my goodness, what a filth shot attempt again from Sharp. Sharp's had some filthy attempts here that have just barely missed. Oh my goodness, the heater of a shot from Gino as he's unable to finish it off. Neither of these guys able to finish off what would have been two of the best shots of the series. Gino just ends up rolling it away. Didn't like his aerial attempt set up for himself as Sharp will just watch Gino as his ball dribbles, seeing if he's going to turn and try and challenge. Another low 50 50 attempt from Sharp, but Gino's able to toss it away as he takes it over his net. Baiting Sharp in there a little bit, making Sharp think he might miss. Sharp, of course, doing a good job. Stealing that mid-boost, forcing Gino to reset. But Gino doing what I'm saying, not giving any space on the ball. Keeping that pressure on. Doesn't want Sharp to breathe for a second. Goes up for a very risky aerial challenge. I'm not sure he needs to go quite that risky as Sharp will put on a second goal here. Well, I definitely agree. He needs to keep the pressure on. Doesn't mean he needs to go necessarily for a super hard uh, challenge there on the wall. What's that only, right? Where my founders at? There's been a couple founders who've stopped by so far. Sharp, send up a challenge, trying to go for a bump as he flicks it in. Not gonna work, and Gino is gonna make him pay. Can't blame Sharp for trying to mix it up. Previously, these guys always going for flicks into the top corner on all those uh, attempts from the opposition's corner, but this time, uh, Sharp going for a bump. Can't, can't uh, blame him for that. We actually have had two Merc mains on the stream today. Only Red Gino. Making it 4-2. Gino, a very impressive showing in this game number three. Sharp is not in opposition to scoff at at all. Yeah, the Mercs have been murking today. Exactly. You're watching while you play. Sharp's kickoffs gives you anxiety. Why is that? Nice run of the mill flick here from uh, Sharp. Gino's actually going to be able to get a pretty strong save here. Sharp keeps the pressure on and is unable to finish it, though, on a tight angle. Sharp, though, is going off right now as he refuses to get away from this ball. As Gino running left and right and left and right. Nice chip up and shot off the wall. Sharp in full control. Oh, okay, I can see why that kickoff could give someone anxiety. He does do it quite weird. Gino going for a nice, easy aerial attempt. Refuses to flip on his attempt, though. Doesn't want to commit his car too far to Sharp's end of the field. Sharp will get a dribble setup, though, but I agree with Gino's attempt to keep the pressure on, not let him set up anything, go for an early challenge. Sharp's going to put up another goal, though, 4-4. Four to four. What's the prize pool? Where's the exclamation point gauntlet command? I don't know, where are you? Only Ray, we need you, man. The, there's a prize pool for, a $5 prize pool for uh, each individual game. And then there's gonna be a $20 prize pool for the finals. Four, four. As Sharp ties it up, Gino setting up something sick these aerial plays have been working for him i'm surprised we haven't had more situations in which gino can set up some uh air dribbles off the wall because my goodness and a solo air dribble off the wall has worked for him almost every time as he puts it right up the crossbar five four really good shot from our boy gino sharp almost able to get up that kickoff goal Good recovery from Gino as Sharp continues to try and keep the pressure on. It's going to cost him some boost and possession as Gino stops it out. Nice recovery off the wall. Save there from Sharp to keep Gino out. He's going to set up an opportunity himself. Goes for an air dribble of his own. Air dribble bump isn't going to work. Or is it? It is going to work as it forces Gino to dodge him with the save. First one of these we've seen attempted today is Gino's top is too soft nice backflip to finish it from sharp these guys trading some blows right now who has Gino maybe whiffing that kickoff there a little bit certainly could have gotten much more power 
as he hits it really soft. Hands possession away, but is able to steal the boost, so... Sharp is sitting with nothing, but... Puts on a strong attempt anyways. Missing the opportunity to keep the pressure. Gino's counterattack, though, is still saved. Both these guys just slamming shots off the post of each other's goals. Gino, opportunity to shoot this on net if he gets there once again. These guys loving the post as they just keep trading, driving back and forth on this field. Sharp finally slows it down for the first time. Gonna go for another air dribble, just trying to get a 50-50 behind the ball. Ends up slowing his car a little bit too much, and Gino is gonna be able to counter it there. Of course, Sharp trying to look for a favorable 50-50, trying to have Gino fly by the ball on his contest and finish it off, but instead ends up slowing himself down by putting his wheels on that car or on that ball. Gino's able to recover quicker and gets the counterattack. 6-5 with 30 seconds left. Sharp, not allowed to set up a dribble. Gino's not going to let him. Zero boost this time. He will give Sharp some space. And this double jump pop is stopped out. Pill Rider maybe looking to bump. Doesn't work out for him. Able to set up a bounce shot. Saved yet again by uh, Gino. But with 10 seconds left, he's sitting with low boost here. He's unable to get that challenge. Sharp has some time, has some space, but with no boost, he's unable to get around that ball. Gino! With a great play. Good games against Sharp. Gino making a statement on his first appearance on stream. Sharp is a very good player. And Gino is able to knock him off in the gauntlet. Anything can happen in the gauntlet. If Kinsa loses, I want my money back. <laughs> 10 bucks, I assume, to the prize pool. Uh... So we'll add it up. We'll, we'll add it up to 30. It's a $30 prize pool now. Thanks to only Ray. But if Kinsei loses, he wants his money back. He's got faith in Kinsei. Um, Kinsei, of course, we'll just, let's just go over his illustrious career on the stream. He's played Buddy, who he 3 0. He played T Corel, who was ranked 24 at the time, beat him 3 2. He's beat Semi Kiss, the previous dominator on stream. And of course, he had beat Frenchie in the most recent matchup he's played. And now he's ready to play. Gino, the one that the gauntlet has created. The gauntlet has taken all the best possible players. And what do they give us? They give us Gino. Here we go. Gino versus Kinsei. Kinsei undefeated on the stream. 5-0. 5-0 and 6-0 or something like that. Going up against 3-0. Gino. First time playing on the stream tonight is, of course, in the gauntlet bracket. Most impressive win. In case you're watching this, I don't know somewhere on YouTube or something or you just turned in to see the finals guys you know what I've also not been doing updating the title oh my goodness you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna let only Ray do that so we can watch the game only Ray can you update the title this is not Gino versus Yotam anymore it's not even close to Gino versus Yotam when does G2 play I think they play late I think they play late tomorrow but Kinsei starts off this matchup with the first goal 1-0 this is going to make it two goals. Gino's already given him the nice shot. Is willing to concede that goal before he even gets there. Kinsey, of course, the uh, not only the stream history favorite, but wildly the MMR favorite. Uh, but we've shown that the MMR favorite doesn't seem to mean much with both Yotam beating Frenchie and Gino beating Sharp in otherwise wildly unfavored MMR matches. Can't say up 3-0 though. Unstoppable in these kickoffs. These just look unstoppable in general at this game. The most fluid play I've ever seen. This man has just figured it out and is jiving as he scores yet another one here, 4-3. Or sorry, 4-3, I mean from three to four. It is 4-0. Kinsei. Looking to make it uninteresting. Looking to blow it out. Of course, says right before we go in, knowing Kinsei is saying that these games are usually tight between these two in ranked. Which I can believe, man. I mean, I think we've seen some evidence that some people in ranked seem to crush it. Some people in show matches seem to really turn it on. Kinsei, though. 
I seem to found it, find it both as he both tops the ladder and becomes superhuman when it comes to stream time. This air dribble's not going to be able to work out for him. But he's able to get to this count, or this, able to stop this counterattack from Gino. But, leaving the ball floating in front of the net is going to result in a power shot for Gino, and Gino's going to put one goal on the board to start off this matchup. We'll uh, be interested to see how Gino ends up finding ways to score against Kinsey. This first one just coming from a sort of weaker save attempt from Kinsey himself as Kinsey goes for something exotic off the ceiling. Gino will need to keep making uh, these opportunities count. When Kinsey goes for something a little extra exotic and doesn't hit it, Gino does a good job of instantly countering and keeping the pressure on as he gets a second goal here. Needs to constantly punish Kinsey for those errors. Let's go, hashtag team. Gino. 4 2. As Gino keeps the pressure on 4 3 here, Kinsey getting just a little bit too casual. Thinking he's got time, thinking he's got time to catch this boost. Oh, he just missed the boost on his return back. Still means maybe he's getting a little bit too casual, a little bit too comfortable. That missed boost is going to cost him the goal. 4-3, and what's good to see, as Kinsey in the past has made some games look silly, Gino's done a good job of instantly bringing it back in to a respectable distance. Of course, lots of game left. We'll see how this one turns out. As Kinsey, more comfortable than anybody we've seen on stream going for aerial attempts. Which is funny to say now. I'll say it instead of once. I'll say it a million times. When Kinsey first started on our stream, he was probably doing less aerials than Gino has been doing today. Um, sticking most to ground play and constant pressure. But has since added everything, every last thing into his game. And has seen a meteoric rise up into the top five on ranked. But Gino's pressure... And flicks have really worked out for him. Gino's flicks. Very consistent. Is this a best of five mud puppy? Yes, it is. Grand finals is a best of five. And say, after going up 4 0, has dropped four goals here. He's to find his magic again. Gino almost taking the lead there with a the flick, unable to get it on net. As Kinsey sets up a dribble. Going for an aerial pop. Good recovery from him. It's not going to result in any counterattack plays. Oh, he's able to uh, mind game Gino. Kinsey so dangerous with everything he can do. Most dangerous thing he can do, apparently, nothing. Nothing at all. Next thing you know, he's scoring on your net. A benefit that... Of course, only these super top level guys get. As, uh, you know, Gino might have been better off being platinum there. Would have easily been able to save that shot, but rightfully so gives uh, Kinsey a lot of credit. Nice counterattack here from Gino. These, these saves from Gino have been doing wonders for him all series. Able to get yet another one from it. Gino ne never out of it. Never out of it on any shot attempt, it feels like. Seems to take even the hardest shots and make the saves look easy and nice, but this is a kickoff here. Let's go back down. 6-5. Another kickoff loss because one's going to blow it high, give Gino some time. Can say. Stick into those low 50 50 challenges, but Gino's able to read it this time, make sure to not jump. Doesn't fall for anything special. Nice bump here from Gino is going to get him a sixth goal. Is it tied 6 6 here? Gino, really good patience. Both deep in his own half to get that save and not fall for any fakes, and then right there, stick with the ball, stay calm, bump Kinsey. 
and uh, tie the game up. So, since Kinse started off with a nice 4-0 lead, since then it's been 6-2 to Gino. As these two guys are tied now with a minute left, Gino certainly with all the momentum. Kinse being very patient, maybe a little bit too patient as Gino almost scored on him, but turns out to be just the right amount of patience, so shut up, fear. As uh, Gino just gets a little bit too greedy, goes for quite the exotic backwards flip. Uh, which is not going to work any day of the week. Kinse just waits and eats up that easy pass. They will score 7-6 here, setting up an air dribble. Kinse going for a bump. Actually gets the bump. Oh my goodness, this is filthy. Not sure if he was planning on bump from the second he lifted off, but as soon as he passed the ball, did a good job redirecting his angle bumping into Gino and getting our filthy, filthy, filthy uh, aerial dribble bump. Only Ray holding his head. Can say flip reset. Oh, huge whiff. Gino's able to play it fast, and uh, this time, can say unable to recover. But Gino's gonna need another one. Can say sitting pretty. Still up one goal, 20 seconds left. We'll see if we throw any sort of cheese out from Gino. Is he just going to go run-of-the-mill kickoff or is he going to try and do something special? He chooses run-of-the-mill and ends up losing big time. As Kinsey doesn't care if there's 15 seconds left or 3 seconds left or no seconds left. He's going to keep his pressure on always. Smart idea, of course, as it looks like it's going to work out for him as he keeps his pressure on this ball. Should be hitting the grass as Kinsey goes up 1-0. Really good start, though, from Gino. Can't blame him at all. As he's just one goal off of the king. That is Kinsei. Kinsei going up 1-0 in this best of five. Go update uh, the scoreboard here. I'll take a quick glance at the uh, votes. I'll, guys, I'm sorry. No one else has voted. Otherwise, I would have showed you. Game number two, Kinsey versus Gino. Kinsey starting off extremely hot last game. Almost ended up throwing it away, but nice double flip reset here. I'm gonna lead to any goal. But it's still gonna be sick and make us go ooh and ah, but he's gonna tap one away and Gino should be able to counter it here. Nice 1-0 lead for Gino. A lot of goals coming out for Gino. Just based off of Kinsey going for a little bit too much flair. Of course, that same exact flair is what's propelled him to insane heights as of late. Ties up with a kickoff goal. 1-1. One, one. Oh my goodness. Oh! Filthy. Let's watch that from uh, from Gino's perspective here. What is going on? Oh, I guess we don't get the biggest perspective. <laughs> there you go, boys. That's how you do it. That's how you be an elite 1v1 player. You go for whatever you want to describe that as. <laughs> the most insane wave dash, to tap, something. It doesn't matter. The point is, ball went in, and uh, that's how you be top five in the world. <laughs> Gino, trying desperately to keep that pressure on and pinch that ball in the net. Gets there a little bit too early. Kinsey's going to set up another wild air dribble, but Gino's able to get there. He gets a little bit too far away from Kinsey, and it's going to cost him another goal. Maybe not. Look at me calling it too soon here. Gino wasn't able to get the power I was expecting out of it. Nice demo here. From Gino, good read by Gino, seeing the situation that Kinsey went for some kind of half flip or flip turnaround that did not work out for him. It means he's going to be awkward and going to be stagnant. 
Easy time to demo. Good read by Gino on that. Ends up getting a second goal. Gino gets punished here for trying to keep his pressure on. Something he's stuck to all, all night. Definitely something he's not going to be changing now, but this time can say gets a good read. Just a simple tap over him while he drives in a little bit too deep is enough to set up a goal attempt. Once again, Gino, unrelenting, zero boost. Doesn't head to that side, uh, that side mid boost at all. Wants to keep that pressure on, prefers to potentially get in the mix with both of them with low boost, likes his chances in that situation maybe a little bit more than when they both have time. Oh my goodness, Kinsei going insane here. It doesn't end up working out for him, but once again, his insanity it actually might end up in a goal. He actually claps Gino back to the wall. Says, you can't doomsy dish if I slam you back into the wall. Oh, Kinsei getting exotic with the save and Gino's going to be able to punish him for it. Kinsei expecting a, uh, a ceiling shot from Gino. Tried to go meet him up at the ceiling, but doesn't get the correct read and ends up flipping around in no man's land, Gino. And take it slow and score. Whoops. Somehow I moved off of player cam as Kinsei sets up a dribble and we're just flying staring at nothing. Is this interesting to you guys? You guys see that I don't have the option to go to player cam, right? But we're already on it, so we'll stick with this. Three three in game number two. Gino putting on one of the best performances against Kensei already that we've seen on the stream. Of course, could be calling it a little early. You never know how each one of these games is gonna end up. That might make it look a little bit less close than it feels right now. Oh, a tap away from Gino. Should have resulted in a goal. Gino actually helped him pinch it there after what was a miss. What a save, I guess. I don't know. Uh, finally, it goes in. Kinsei, though. I mean, uh, Gino could have let this ball roll away from the net, but actually ended up tapping it. Was a little bit afraid. Didn't expect this wild stuff to happen. Kinsei just keeps floundering at the ball. Is eventually able to find the back of the net with a uh, backflip. You guys see that? All right, there we go. Uh, Gino gets a does not get a kickoff goal. Sorry, I keep doing this. Kinsei seems really good. I feel like he's toying with Gino. I mean, it's just a way that uh, people who play really aggressive play. Uh, it's possible he's toying. You never know. But also, sometimes you you play this aggressive, you get rewarded for it, and you also get punished for it. And keep in mind, Kinsei has, of course, still been winning. He <laughs> really wants it to be entertaining. Kinsei is always entertaining no matter what. Nice save here as a free jump from Kinsei. Reads the situation well. Gino going for a demo. Probably a good idea not to let Kinsei get going. Kinsei's fake challenge is read perfectly by Gino who doesn't get rid of the ball but his air dribble does not work as the ball gets reset. Gino though, a couple good boost grabs is going to give him a fourth goal as he ties it up here. Good job stealing both the mid and uh, back boost as Kinsei gets super aggressive and finds himself stuck behind the ball. Kinsei is top six on Steam. Lamanda no Wonder. Yeah, I need to do a better job of, uh, of advertising that, obviously. Yeah, Kinsei is really good. But uh, if that isn't, if it isn't obvious that he's top rated by my stream title or something, then I need to do something different. Oh, nice play here by Kinsei. Just baiting Gino in. In full control of this ball. It will take it left and right. Oof! Oh, filthy. Goodness. What a piece of control, as our good boy Johnny Boy would say. 5-4 for Kinsei with 24 seconds left. You didn't notice? All these guys are top 100. Uh, Gino, so Sharp, it was, I think it's like a top 50-ish. I think he might be below, he might be higher than that right now. But he's been as high as like, you know, top 10, I'm pretty sure. 
can say right now is top six. French, who I played earlier, is top four, I think, right now. With another securing goal here, filthy from Kensei. So yes, the majority of the guys, every, everyone that was in this tournament, I found because they were at least top 100 in the past two days. Let's put it that way. Uh, I think uh, you know three or so of the guys actually ended up falling out to top you know 110. But but yeah, these guys are very close to top 100, if not deep in the top 100. Sharp's kick kickoffs making me think he's champ too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he was going for with those kickoffs, but. Uh, honestly, he was doing fine. The kickoffs uh, were not the reason he lost, but oh, perfect, perfect. Oh wait, wait they've been—they've been keeping me. Wow, we're good, we're good, we're good. What great people, dude. Oh, so nice. Well, I guess they might have accidentally joined in the first place, but still, I didn't even say anything in chat, and they seemed to know that they needed to wait. Can say first, you know. You feel like uh, good AF, but Kensei just seems to be another level. His MMR would certainly suggest that. Kensei has more control than he's showing, and he's still winning. Your money's on Kensei 100%. Well, that's certainly what Vegas would agree with. Kensei gets another air dribble demo here this time, though, on the bump. Absolutely filthy play. G'day, mate. You've seen your free auto Christian. Oh, thanks, man. Mmm. Bop. Oh my goodness, I don't understand how he had the speed to get the demo there, but he does get it. As he goes up 1-0 in this game. 2-0 in the series, of course, coming into this game 3. An opportunity to shut out Gino. Sharp. I bet expecting, or sorry, uh, Kensei, I, I bet, expecting to see Sharp in this game. But really impressive play from Gino is going to keep Gino in the final match. Can say 50 50 here is able to finish it off with a nice aerial just faster to the ball than Gino is gonna get him his second goal. Yo, you guys want to ban that guy? <laughs> I was like, that seems like a robot talking to me, <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I was like, that's the most robot answer I've ever seen. <laughs> Somebody give the musty flick misses out. Kensei trying to get every type of goal in here now. As maybe chat is making the correct assessment, our boy feeling comfortable now. Gino's going to try and make him feel uncomfortable. Nice. Flick pop over Kensei is able to finish it off for a goal. You're just mad because you couldn't say his name. <laughs> yep, that's it. You got me. You absolutely got me. Gino 2-1. If, uh, if Kensei is doing what chat suggests he might be doing, which is taking it a little bit easy, he is surely towing the line every single game as Gino has uh, kept it close. Normally somebody who's towing around will get a little bit more of a buffer than Kensei has been having. This air dribble's not going to be able to go anywhere as that first touch was not good. Tries to set up a fake here, but Gino was in the in the process of recovering. Ends up baiting Gino into a 90 degree flick. Not even a 90 degree flick, just a, a, a flick that sent the ball 90 degrees. A diagonal flick. That's what they call him. Not a 90 degree turn into the flick. Can say in control. Going for the double tap here. Ends up missing, but gets a good enough tap that there won't be an instant counter attack. Gino with a Big whip on the boost might be the difference between scoring a goal here and not. Puts the ball on the platter for Kinsey, whose double touch is not able to score, and a counterattack will come out from Gino. Kinsey likes the risky strategy. As we know, chasing that ball, going for insane stuff, is going to eventually get some goals scored on him, but. Works out for him most of the time as he's up. 3-2. Nice air dribble here, but Gino's able to save it just barely. Pressure stays on and the boost starvation is real. As Gino sitting with nothing. Trying to clear the ball out. Kinsey keeping the pressure on. He's going to set up a flick. Oh my goodness gracious, this is filthy. Nice fake flick here. On the first jump, lands back down, wave dash, pop 
over Gino. Oh my. Insane. Don't do it to him. Of course, even if Gino gets shut out this series, great performance from him overall tonight. That's another kickoff goal goes in favor of Kinsey. The speed on these kickoffs from Kinsey is quite impressive. Of course, he loses this one because I uh, jinxed him. Both these guys floundering a bit. As Kinsey decides to go for a own goal double tap, maybe? To finally clear the ball out. Nice straightforward power shot. Almost finds its way in. Kinsey there. Right on the post waiting for it. This tap high could easily be stolen by Gino, but he elects to wait and dribble it into the corner, trying to take possession here. Drives past the ball, but it was all part of the plan. As he almost fakes Kinsey into... Uh, getting destroyed, but he does not. Kinsey regains control. 100 boost and ball for Gino. Kinsey stuck in net with almost nothing. Tries to set up the squishy save and oh! So sick, the fairy peak flick. <laughs> I feel like fairy, I think fairy peak or something did this on accident or purpose or whatever one time. Nice front flip and hit it on the wet tail end. Obviously exactly what he meant to do. Very impressive. He didn't even question that these could be top level games till seeing him play. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Kinsey's so good that you're all like, oh my goodness, what? Who, were, who was playing before? Kinsey set up an aerial attempt. Didn't get the flip reset, but all that matters is the threat of the flip reset as Gino ends up aiming his challenge trying to stop the flip reset. Kinsey. Just lets it drop to the ground and tap it in. The benefits that you get when you're as insane as Kinsey is sometimes people are assuming you're going to be insane. And you just let the ball roll in because you weren't insane. Nice flick by Gino. Stopped out by Kinsey though. Kept the pressure on. Not letting Gino get back into his flicks that he wants. And with 30 seconds left here... Kinsey feeling comfortable just going for flip resets at midfield it is going to result in a goal here. My goodness gracious. Kinsey. Victory Royale for our boy here. 7-3. Uh, you would not find me putting any money that he doesn't pull this game three out. And win the best of five. Good performance by Gino though in the gauntlet. Getting to this point. Definitely some good games. Definitely some top opponents to feel good about beating gonna come out of today with $15 for himself for three match wins but going up against Kinsey was just a little bit too much for him Kinsey will continue to sit atop the gauntlet waiting for somebody who can stop him as he wins 8-3 here and he'll pull the $30 prize pool thanks to only Ray increasing that puppy by 10 Kinsey deserves some money for his great victories here as he wins, 8-3 and ends the gauntlet for tonight. Kinsey won $30, sitting atop. Gino, not a bad performance, winning three series, winning 15 himself. And yo, Tam, won five. These guys, of course, are going to have to make sure they give me a way to give them their prize pool winnings. Nice, uh, a cool $50 one today overall. You gotta like it. You gotta like a nice $50 uh, 1v1 set of show matches here. I really appreciate these guys coming out. Hope you guys had a good time watching it.